Now, the first thing you want to do if you want to sell your house fast is to set the right price for your property. Make it attractive and competitive. If your style is to set a higher price and then lower it when offers are not coming in, you might delay the sale of your property. If, for instance, your house doesn't receive a substantive offer within the first 30 days of the listing, you may need to evaluate the price. Be sure to post your house on as many real estate listing sites as you possibly can. The key is exposure. You want to sell your house fast and online is one of the best places buyers are going to look because it's one of the first places they're going to look when they want to buy a house. It doesn't cost more than time that it takes to actually post these listings online. Take attractive photos and uh, showcase your property in its best light for buyers to see online. As you market your house, market your neighborhood as well. That can sell a house fast. Tell prospective buyers all about the good things in the neighborhood. There's a park, there's schools. Look at all the amenities that make great living in the neighborhood. This is going to give people a good reason to change neighborhoods and buy your house. Another way that you can sell your house fast is by making the environment appealing. It's going to be beneficial to hire the services of a landscaper to boost up the curb appeal of your home. Keep it tidy as well. Now, it's like consumer products and how they're attractively packaged, right? They're attractively packaged to get buyers' attention, and your house may not be the best one in the neighborhood, but an attractive and serene environment can give your house a great head start. So remember, the first thing a buyer will always see is the environment around your property, and you know what they say about first impressions. Funny as it may sound, some buyers are overly sensitive to political and religious subjects. Don't take this for granted if you want to sell your house fast. This is commonly referred to as depersonalizing your home. For instance, if they walk in and see everything opposing their particular views, they may not feel welcomed, even though they know that you're going to pack everything up and move out. Adopt a minimalist approach. And this also includes family portraits, right? You want to take everything down that makes it your home so that they can visualize it being their home. So keep the house clean and fresh too, obviously, right? Make the house smell good. A foul smell can oftentimes suggest leakages in the walls or poor ventilation or even sewage problems. So you might want to hire a professional cleaner to make the whole space clean professionally. This is going to take you a little step closer to selling your house fast. I also recommend to utilize spaces you don't really have any use for right now. Just to suggest to the buyer how useful that space can be to prevent the buyer from thinking, hmm, what am I going to use this space for? Why am I paying for it? And another thing, you can possibly prevent uh, selling your house fast if you're not making yourself available for prospective buyers to have a look at your property. So to sell your house fast, you need to know that buyers will not be coming around when you have time, but at times that favor them. So be welcoming and answer all calls concerning requests for prospective purchases from those buyers that are going to buy your home and let them look at the property. And here's another tip that might help sell your house fast. Not everyone likes pets. Some people are allergic, in fact. So to be safe, keep your pets and any other thing that might suggest a pet lives in that house away for just a few minutes so that prospective buyers will spend time looking at the property and not have to worry about allergic reactions to pet dander. So just be sure, if you want to sell your house fast, to not have any sign that a pet lives there. You don't want to take any chances. Also, to avoid paying real estate commissions when buying or selling a house, the first option available to you is FSBO, or FISBO, which stands for For Sale by Owner. Keep in mind that agents often charge 4-6% to to sell your house, right? And that's on the sales price of the house. So maybe you want to try and avoid that, but if you don't have the time or the expertise, you might want to have an expert handle that, where they'll handle the paperwork and the meetings. It could be justified. That percentage could be justified in that case. But if you can, always sell or buy a home yourself to avoid paying those commissions. So with that in mind, if you're looking to sell your house, head on over to stchb.com and give us a call at 52444. That's area code 619-52444. Now, if you found this video useful, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media too. And don't forget, if you have any questions, leave them in the question box and we'll do our best to answer them. Well, listen, Thanks for watching. This is Christian from San Diego County Homebuyers, the real estate team you love and know. We're the ones that know your home, San Diego. See you on the next one.